Cool FM, you're locked in your number one hit music station. It's the Midday Oasis. And on a Friday, and you guys already know that sometimes we just flip the scripts. Uh, today is a different day because, uh, you know, sometimes when it's good news, we call for it. And when it's bad news, we still call for it, right? And so what it is today is, um, uh, you know, things happen, like they always say. But setting things should not happen to setting people or Setting things should not happen to anybody. I mean, that's a fact. Uh, we got rights. We have um, we have rights to our life. We have rights to um, uh, you know, you know, your freedom is is what you is what is obtainable. I mean, you feel like you you own certain things in life and not to not be taken by force. And um, especially when you just realize that things are not done the right way, right? And whether we like it or not, we're here to question it sometimes. We're here to question it even most times. Sometimes, like I say, and most times it's okay to question setting things, right? 12 minutes past 11 o'clock, it is the Mid-Deal Way. He says, I'm deal to the team and the energy God, and I've got one of the best to ever do it. I'm still doing it. Actor extraordinaire, rapper extraordinaire. Um, I mean, he just gave me a compliment a few days ago about me not being a rapper, but I dropped bars. I'm like, okay, fine, on Twitter. And, and the thing is, you know, um, for you guys, you just think that you no know, things you can just happen to just anybody. Uh, is one guy nobody ever thought in this life. You know, everybody knows kills. You know, everybody knows kills. And thinking about it, right? For that kind of thing to happen. Uh, it is it is it is a big deal, and that's to tell you that you know we're all in danger. If you want to think about it, if that's the way it'll happen, just take it from me that we are all in danger, right? So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only talking about the one and the only Ike Chuku. He's right here. Kills. What's good? What's good, man? What's good? What's good, good. What's good. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? First, thank you for even even uh, obliging to come because you know. Uh, we've not been able to reach you for days. You've been devastated, unhappy about uh, this uh, development. And, uh, you know, thank you for granting me this interview. Thank you for granting the people this interview uh, for coming through because you didn't want to do this. But it's good. It's good. Let's have this conversation. How are you doing, Kills? Uh, I've, had, I've had better days. I've had better days. I thank God for life, first and foremost. I thank, I thank God for being here. I thank God uh, I'm still able to be here. You're my neighbor. You would not be. You would have not even known that I was gone. Yeah, because you know the thing is, what's funny is we we sometimes we see we jog in the morning, yeah. and um, just to keep body and soul together. Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't hear from you for a while, yeah. and I get on social media, mm -hmm. and I see a video of you talking about you picked up by some set of people, and uh, um, and it's now it's now our house. They picked me up from now our house, like two minutes away from the house. Two minutes, bro. If we run the same way we run from home, going going yeah. around the estate, jogging around the estate, the same way we do that. If we jog straight from in front of our house to where I got picked up from, right? It won't be up to two. It won't be up to six. It won't be up to ninety seconds. Maybe we can do it in ninety seconds. That's crazy. So, yeah. what exactly happened? Now, yeah. this might be a really stupid question, but no. everybody knows question. kills. You don't. You are you are you're a straight up guy. And everybody thinks, you know, kills is, is armor. Like, you don't, some things are never going to go through. I mean, I, I felt, I mean, this is like, um, if you understand what I'm trying to say, people actually picture kills as a robot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, listen. So, that kind I'm, of thing happening to you. I'm one of the I'm one of the hardest guys I know. I am, I, I, you know me, I'm a very humble guy. I know the young. I'm one of the hardest guys I know. That said, I'm even the same guy that, yes, how long ago, not too long ago, when I saw that SARS guy beating that guy on yeah, Insta, yeah. I said, ah, man, I pray to God that this guy, some idiot like this, doesn't run into me in the street. One exactly. on one. That, one on one. I exactly. was collecting gun from my mother. Oh, my, this, this was not one on one. It was like five, all in black, black, no names, no numbers, no nothing. Everybody get AK. And these AKs, I mean, everybody, we don't see AK now. We don't see AK tire now. You understand? But triple trip, triple magazine AK, you know, say bullet day. Do you understand? It's not a situation where it's one of those, our regular guys on it. Because me, I know most of the cops on the island. Let's be real. Most of us entertainers, we know most of them. Even if we don't know them by name, we know each other by face. They don't chop our money tire. You understand? But these guys, 
and they, these guys they kept on bragging about being from the mainland she said this island police they made us soft no problem that they will teach us a lesson today she now was born yo. now 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 born this our 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 hillox here be no problem do you understand but but that that wasn't and the thing is there's i mean a, how, how do you connect that incident to there is a to you to pick him they, they they don't they don't need a connection they don't need a connection have they needed a connection before this is sars we're talking about it's not they did their problem didn't start today their problem didn't start today and yeah a lot of listen uh my 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 brain my actually like when i'm speaking right now my it might sound like i'm twitching or i'm tweaking because like i got so many like visuals and so many thoughts in my head at the same time I'm trying to correlate them and you know at least speak as articulated as possible right now but the honest truth is like i've i tried to shut down from the amount of calls messages comments etc etc some people man nigerians and what we're a different we're a different breed we're a different breed it's just highlighted a much bigger issue like forget the fact that i'm not dead forget that forget the fact that this didn't you know that this happened yeah. you know what i mean we as a people were actually were actually on edge we're bored we're on that edge we're on that edge and people online are saying Tr- trigger we just need a trigger we just need a trigger is, we're, we're past the trigger yo it's a little it's a little breeze it's like a little blow of air and we're over the edge for anything everybody and and it is a poverty state of mind that's killing us because yeah there are a few of us that are, that are actually doing all right or doing better than all right or doing way better than all right you know but the masses have been suffering for a long time and right now you know, some of the masses will be saying ah, it's good she una celebrities una elite you get me when i know they feel waiting with they feel like i feel and i mean you understand where we did do you get yeah because guess what i've also seen videos of dudes who were not criminals but eight bullets and died right there by the at the hands of SARS. I was speaking to um, a lot of people have called me. A lot of people have called. Let me just say that one first and foremost. People I know, people I don't know. And um, shout out to Juliette Ibrahim. She um, she had um, um, a few people call me, and there was one particular person that actually called me. Um, he's the essay to the vice president. His name is Faye. I know this guy actually. He doesn't know me from Adam. I mean, he knows me as an artist. He knows me as an actor. He knows me as the guy, you know. And um, he even called me legend, like the regular people in the streets. So I'm just like, okay. And my dude was like, he took time to actually talk about this issue. Because like, and he was quite clear that it's quite clear that, that this issue is there, man. Where do we attack this issue from? You understand? Where do I attack this issue from? So it's not even it's people. My point about bringing him up is that there are people in positions of power. That are overwhelmed by the issue themselves. Okay, so so why 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 in your own conclusion, why would you conclude that it is SARS? Why would I conclude that it is SARS? Why, why would you say first it thing is the SARS? guy said, Oh, it'd be like say you don't know no SARS, Abi. You don't know no SARS, Abi. Do you want me to get all demonstrative? Do you want me to articulate the, the situation from A to to E for you to get it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like one hundred percent those are SARS. They said it themselves with their own mouth. Now, but, when the guy landed the first blow on my face, right? And I looked at him. The guy got upset. I could tell he got upset because ah, he used his whole might. I saw him use his whole might. Like my brain is photo is like I have a photographic memory. There are no, there's not one of those faces that I'll see and not be able to make a hundred percent identification. Do you understand? You can one thousand percent. I would love to because you know it's one thing for these guys to have guns in their hands and be acting all you know rambunctious, but it's another thing one on one. I said that before and I'll say it again because at the end of the day, you have to get to the root of the issue. And the root of the issue, there's a there's a huge insecurity with these dudes. In the in the masses, there's a huge insecurity. But let us focus on these guys that have these guns and are wearing these non-uniformed uniforms, right? Because there's no way to identify them by name or by number. If, even right? the van didn't have any identity. But none. No, 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 no. The, the, it's RRS. It's RRS vehicles. These are police. These are police cars. One hundred percent police cars. These are guys operating under the premise of police. Whether they are police or not, we don't know because we can't identify them. 
Do you understand? So the car had RRS on it? Yes, of course. Wow. 100%. Now, like I said, let's identify, let's use these guys to identify the issue first. These guys, they're underpaid, they're undereducated, but they're given this power to go and rampantly be unruly, be above the law. So they're going to take advantage of it. Okay, so they're going to take advantage of it. Bro. Now, the part of the story you mentioned about taking your money, and you mentioned uh, Wazobia, and you mentioned you said you got a name. One of the dudes, yeah, the the pretty much the the ringleader. Okay. At some points, he kept on because I mean, like I said, there's no way to track these dudes. So even in my fear, I was still trying to find some kind of link some kind of trail, if not paper, electronic, some, something. And um, I remember him mentioning uh, that he shocked, say, I know, I know, I know, recognize him. Say, I, he said, he know me now. This is at the end, though. He know me now. He know me now. Uh, you don't know me from Wazobia. I did that Wazobia. I, I think his name started with a G. I want to say Gamboski or Gam, Gam, Gambuza or Gambozi or something like that. But it, he said Wazobia FM. That's why I buzzed you and I was like, yo, you know what? Because my idea was to get you to go out there and do like you wanted to take a picture of you and the, the police that you're cool with and they to show some kind of solidarity. And then I can utilize that picture as like, you know, <laughs> okay, no, that's not him. Not number one, not number two, not number three, not number one. That's him. That's him. That, that one was there. That one was there. That one was there. You get me? Yeah. Be able to identify the culprit. But, um, at the end of the day, you have to realize that I'm not the first victim. I'm not the first victim. Just because this happened to me, if I show you some DMs, if I show you some calls that came in, other human beings, I don't want to say celebrities, but other human beings, period. Not just celebrities, non-celebrities, people who have gone through it. A lot of women, too, have gone through this plight and been dealt with, you know? There was one I actually... I, I, it is... It is, it is um, it is a routine. And even one of my friends, I, I'm going to call him up if I can. Um, his name is Baggy. And he just got a call. Like, they, even it happened to a guy here uh, at the station. You know, they just picked him up through his mechanic. He, he, and it, it, they, they went to his house mm -hmm. through the mechanic and they said, you know what? We're looking for this guy and you and that and picked him up, took him somewhere else. And it's like they get so much information about you that yeah. they just use that against yeah. you. And it, it um, makes absolutely no sense. Even one, one of my friends, they went to, uh, I mean, where he works, but they met a lady there. But the only reason why they could not pick up the lady was because they had people working there. There were a lot of people saying, questioning and saying, why do you want to pick this lady? He said, oh, there's this guy. They're trying to pick. And I said, yeah, but pick the guy. Why pick the, the lady? Then What are you picking? This is another thing that just blows my mind. What what the, what what are you picking? What are you picking? At the end of the day, what are you picking? This is like, we, we allow ourselves get accustomed to a certain uh, modus operandi. Doesn't mean that that modus operandi is correct. What are you picking? What is your reasonable cause for picking? How did you identify this picky? Like, I mean, what are you picking? For real? Like, these police have stopped me. How can I identify that they're even police, first and foremost? Just because they have guns and they have police cars. They can rent it from police. We know that one happens all the time, especially during Christmas. Do you understand? They rent police guns. They rent police cars. They rent police uniforms. We know that one. So, how are we identifying them that they're real and they're not real? Are you getting me? Yeah. Second of all, okay, let's say you are real. Are you not supposed to go through some type of protocol? Are you not supposed to identify who is in the car? Okay, you're looking. Are you looking for any? What are you looking for? Drugs, open containers of alcohol, or prostitution, or criminals, theft, murderers, whatever. You identify the people that you're with. You identify that. Ah, okay, this is Dotu from Cool FM. Ah, but I no be criminal now. Ah, no problem. Okay, Baba, they go. Sorry. Stop and search. What the hell is stop and search? And if this stop and search is a stop and search that is really a real stop and search, why you they select who you they stop and search? Hmm. Nobody motor we get tint, we get protection, gong gong, go big motor. Is that not the one that you should really want to stop and search what's inside? But because now big motor, ah, I don't know if he did inside this motor. Ah, Baba, toile, oh. Baba, toile. Anything for the boys? Anything for the boys? Ah, happy weekend, did, Baba. Did, did they ask for money at the spot? Bro, no. They landed me blows at the spots. Three, to be specific. 
and then two grabbed me from behind and as the two grabbed me from behind were pushing me into the back part of the helix banging my head and my back on the on the car as it's going the same guy that gave me those three blows came back and gave me again on my chin Gah! do you understand so i'm like oh where am i speaking where am i speaking where am i moving how am i if i had even that first guy that first guy that that, that got me if i had even attempted to fight him back how am I sure my back would not have eaten bullets? How am I sure? How am I sure? So when they told you to to they, so they took you you didn't you didn't know where they take they, they took you to. So after they got let me go back to the story. So after they um they put Chris and Chris's P I, I believe the guy was Chris's P. I'm not sure. After they Chris is um Fireboy's manager, right? He he was picked too after me i was in i was in the back of the helix watching them getting picked you know and i tried to use that opportunity of them getting picked to come out of the helix and get some kind of notoriety let someone see my face because a couple of cars were going by on the other side and these niggas are pulling me back into the car and because these guys have seen me now they now bundle these guys and put them in the helix with me so it was me chris and um and the other guy and i was just driving y'all just driving slowly on the expressway just heading towards the mainland yani you know i mean obviously you can you can say eh, those ones that they were yanning inside the kind of boju to make us fear so we go drop the most way we feel drop at least begin beg that's what you say now but what about those people that never made it home what about those that never made it home that we just see their bodies do you understand this is crazy yeah because this same you say this... your bros bros dotun your money are one million no or they ignorant mother suckers Ignorant Morasog has one million money now. One million go go ATM. ATM they agree one million. ATM they ATM they even agree past one fifty. I don't care how much money you have in your account. Do you understand? That guy from the north kept on saying, "Ha, you like you you you, you sabi move, you sabi move. Your body no go move when I put two inside you. You go die this night. They no go find you. They no go no say you miss self." You see, I'm looking at you. Before he jumps, bro, trust me. There's no amount of kung fu you want to use to fight that one. I'm not Jet Li. Jet Li, they dodge bullets, but that one are for film. Do you understand? And let's not even let's not even let it get into any kind of comical state of mind. Because like I'm that guy. I'm that guy. The thing has happened. That's happened. The shit was still here. Was still here. Yeah, let's at least look at the brighter side bro i, I keep trying i keep trying but i can't see the brighter side people keep on saying ah it is well it is not well people keep on saying ah man don't worry man you go better it is not getting better do you understand what i'm saying is i'm done with all those all those positive references and all those things we want to do is, i'm tired people have been saying ah, that we celebrities that we don't stand up we don't talk about none of these things and then uh, me i've been talking though know, in my only two small corner is you people that don't want to listen but me i'll talk and i'll keep on talking I'll keep on talking because it's not just me. It's our nation. Our nation is under attack, whether you like it or not, by ourselves. Why we're the ones putting ourselves under attack. And it's not going to stop until we rise up. I'm sorry. I'm not inciting any kind of revolution before you people want to come and pick me up on based on the fact that I said revolution. I am saying wholeheartedly to the whole nation. Yes, I'm talking directly into the microphone to each one of you. We will all die by our own hands unless we change the game now. If we do not stand up, if everybody wants to be political about their answers and their solutions about every and anything just because you don't want to shut you don't want to shut your account, you don't want to shut your pocket, you don't want to mess up that relationship you have with that person that's in power that is feeding off of all the negativity that's going on in the country. That's what you want to do, then go ahead, but don't come near me don't speak to me no more please don't act like you're my friend don't act like you care because i'm one of the realest g's that you meet and i've learned about myself over the last few years that i allow myself bend i'm not bending anymore so <laughs> you will hear a lot of speaking from me moving forward that's the honest truth if they want to at this point if they want to kill me no problem at least i've started talking and then they'll say eh, it's because he was talking and they killed him maybe that one maybe when i die maybe you people will ginger oh actually they won't because there's a guy on instagram today that said ah therefore kill you now you know maybe maybe, maybe when they kill you now, people go to make noise now it go better now do you understand 
We got to go on a break. We'll be right back on the show. Ikechuku is right here on your number one hit music station. And he's recalling the ordeal he faced a few a few days ago. He allegedly said he was actually picked up by SARS. And, you know, the drama that ensued after that. And I think uh, we need to pay attention to this conversation. Numbers are 271 271-2969. And 2713969. You can call these numbers if you want to talk to Kichiku. We're going on a very quick break. We'll be right back on the show. Just touch, touch it. Touch, touch, touch yourselves. Touch, touch, touch your friends. I love it. But don't touch that dial. Love it. 969. <laughs> we'll be right back.
96.9 Cool FM, your number one hit music station. This is the Midday Oasis. 22 minutes. We're about to hit 12 o'clock. Don't forget, 12 o'clock is the cool Nigerian vibes of God Kills right here. Ikechuku, and we are having a great conversation. Well, a great conversation, and we're talking about drama, actually. So, um, it is a big deal. We don't even, sometimes, you know, we just come to work, and uh, or you wake up in the morning, and it's bad news. And um, if you think about it, uh, what he went through. I mean, uh, this is a state. If I want to go back, I'm trying to recall exactly what uh, Fresh L uh, went through. It, it is almost the same thing, right? They picked him up with his friends, uh, put him in the back of a, even guess what? They drove in his car and took him all somewhere around Lagos Island. And in a dark corner, they told him to get down with his friends and told him, you know what? We can end it here, just right here. Or just give us all your money. And he wired all his money to them. Then they let him go. Uh, but it was just like a night out like this with his friends. You know, he, 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 I mean, he spoke about it. You know, like how we do here, we just run through it and that city ends there. Um, and now happening to Kichuku. And the truth is we've heard these stories over and over again. It's happened to a lot of people. So, um, uh, it's just uh, ironic that, uh, we just, uh, see these things happen and, we just sometimes just let it be. You know, we just talk about it and ramble about it and we just let it be and it's still happening. Um, and I mean, I asked some basic questions and first of all, in a van that has RRS, definitely if you see a van like that, you know definitely it's for the police, right? Uh, we're not sure, but, and, and there's a lot of complaints about uniforms. Like you don't see them wear uniforms with no tags, although they say, at some point, you can identify SAS through, uh, you know, some some through what, badge through what, and through what, through what, which badge? 
We just buy it. You know, th- there's a time they were doing descriptions of how you, you can actually identify songs. Bro, listen, let me let me be let me cut straight to the fat. Let me cut straight to the fat. All that is C finish, I service, people that want to be in front of the camera for some reason or not or another. You know, dude, at the end of the day, right? They are not dealing with the issue. They have a bunch of bad eggs in their basket and they don't care enough to do a cleansing. Mm. They don't. They would rather us be at the end of the stick, at the, uh, at the sh- get the short end of the stick continuously because at the end of the day, all we do is cry about it, but we're not in the position to make a change. The only way we can make a change is if we all unite together against the issue. Hmm. You know, relentlessly. Not just one day or two days or three days and then all of a sudden we're back to promoting our music and back to, you know, oh, the, uh, the next movie we got coming out. Or, you know what I'm saying? Back to, back to regular, you know, scheduled programming. Nah, man, that programming is exactly what needs to be broken. Okay, so if you're given this, uh, uh, ju- I mean, you, 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 you ask to be responsible for actually cleaning uh, this act up, what would you do? First and foremost, there needs to be a re-education of the police force. First and foremost, there needs to be a new a, a revetting. They have to revet. And when I say vet, go and check the resumes of all your hired police officers. They have to be educated first and foremost. And it cannot be forged certificates. It has to be real education. So you get you cannot have police officers that can't read. You cannot have police officers that can't write. And in a nation that we've had teachers in schools that can't read and write properly and it's they're still teachers in a nation that ha- actually allows that what do you think they're doing in the police force so we have to get back to the we have to get back to the the origins of the problem they have to be educated they have to be properly trained they have to be properly facilitated with the equipment and the necessary tools to actually carry out their jobs do you understand there is no go to any other part of the world all right. I'm sorry to make comparisons, but that's all we have. Compare and contrast. How do you how do you get out of the place? How do you get back home? Bro, let's forget about this story itself and let's focus on the main issue. The main issue is SARS. That is the main issue. What happened to me, like you said, has happened. How many times have you heard the same story? How many times have you heard? The same I mean, story? I had I, I I just mentioned the one for Fresh L. He was on the show as well. Do you understand? You've heard the story a bunch of times nothing has changed because we always focus on the story and we focus on the the sympathy that is that, is, that, that the individual the, the victim you know needs or we feel need to be needs to be given to that person and all that but at the end of the day does any real work go in no nothing you said it yourself what what came out of he came out here he said his own story what came out of it nothing there are many other people many other people if i if i name the amount of celebrities that have called me and told me about their own issues we've seen some other celebrities the celebrities their own issues bubble to the top you get me forget celebrities regular human beings regular people who don't have celeb attached to them who don't have any kind of notoriety attached to them what about them those are the ones that suffer the most because guess what? Even though these guys looked at me and treated me like they didn't recognize me, at the end of the flight, after they collected all the money, this is get you good, you stop on, sha. When we go meet Don Jazzy now, eh? Wind down, wind down, wind down. When are they chop money? The same motherfuckers. Sorry. Sorry. But the same, the same people. Do you understand? It's crazy. <laughs> They know what they're doing. They know that there is this big vacuum of space that they're taking advantage of and they're they're reveling in it. They're reveling in it to the point of they're, they're, they're so drunk in their own conviction and their confidence that they can do whatever they like, whenever they like, and nothing will happen. And they will look you in your face with their red eye and tell you, nothing go happen. And if you like, don't believe it now don't believe it unfortunately for you if one of them just feels like i'll go show this boy you're a dead man and no one will find you if they killed me because i did a board you or I, I tried to fight or i was i was standing my ground yes and they now emptied one magazine inside my body and left me there 
let's say they even used half of the magazine to finish my face to the point where you can't even identify my face and then my body was just there on the road in Lagos Island maybe it, it could have probably been somewhere near Pombo because they kept on driving in for a while it got really really dark so you get so my body is just there maybe my shoe they don't come on my shoe people will don't see me early momo early momo go don't collect my shoe you know maybe just socks belt you know as people they, as people they pass the things are going to reduce now they're going to reduce how do you identify me how does that body on the floor become even a priority for identification i'm just a carcass now it's crazy. I feel be ya. They will say, ah, if you be a Ubo and I, ah, see a Ubo, they don't kill. Oh, ah, see criminal, see thief, where they don't kill for night. Oh, do you understand? Nobody will know. So they just push me into mass, mass, mass mortuary, mass grave, all that one. Meanwhile, my people will look for me. Say, ah, I can't you be like, say, no trouble. Me, I go be, it go be, it go be, be woman. It go be woman. In there on that one woman, one corner. It go soon come. It go soon see him. Maybe you don't travel. Oh. Wow. Exactly. This is overwhelming. I said it to I said it to Faye, I know. And you can ask him. And he is the he is the essay to the VP. I said it to him. Guy, you can be driving one random night. You just decided to say, Hey, I'm on the island. I'm in Ikoi. Slash like he, there's no real need for a security detail. I just want to drive. Let me just drive. And you're driving and you wind down your window because you feel like you are who you are. And you can say to these guys, lo and behold, as soon as you wind down your window, they snatch your phone from you. I said, bros, what are you doing next? What are you doing next? If you like, be VP Seth. What are you doing next? Because at the end of the day, you're only as good as your reach. And if you don't have your phone, you ain't reaching nobody. You ain't reaching nowhere. You have zero reach. Now, zero reach. So if you like be VP self, you like be your super and yourself. If they hold you and you know drop, and they don't, and I don't juggle, they'll reach one level. If they put bullets inside you there, who go know? The only problem I say VP know they move without security detail, so it's a bad example. But you understand the point. You can you can be a person of power, be a person of a certain magnitude, however you want to look at it. At the end of the day, once they take your phone and you are alone, you are alone, bro. You're at their mercy and they can do whatever. They will find you randomly. Randomly, two weeks later. <sighs> wow. And that is exactly why I said they need to clean the entire police force. Okay? You need to clean the entire police force. You need to put, put people who deserve... First and foremost, bro. You see where my brain just went again. Our 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 minimum wage is thirty thousand. They just they just agreed for it to be thirty thousand. Thirty thousand is not even up to hundred dollars. That's for a whole month. That's twenty five dollars a week before tax. That's what you want people to survive on. Then you wonder where the poverty is coming from. Meanwhile, we have guys in Senate that are collecting millions a month for for what? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Hardship allowance. Have you heard of that one? Because the economy, the economy is bad now compared to what it used to be. So we have to give you an extra allowance for hardship. Our governor in Imo State is, is creating new minister, minister of happiness. The, 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 the extent to which the audacity is being taken these days by these people put in positions is it's ridiculous. You would think that, okay, if you are chopping that much, at least do something. Do something. But they like it exactly how it is right now. They love it because no one can really be called to deal. No one can be made to fess up to their responsibilities as long as they have ba. As long as ba day. They talk saying that money be fine, boy, Abby. Say that so they talk now. And that same song that you're saying, that money be fine, but it is the same song, the same effect that that song is having on the higher, is having on the lower, because that same song is psychologically depressing the masses. Because so what? Because I don't get money, I don't be fine person. Because I don't get money, it no go better for me. That's what you're telling me. That doesn't have any hope of reaching this kind of big money that you're talking about, and I'm supposed to still like you. You rub it in my face that I don't have money, and you have money, and I'm supposed to like you. Now, when when bad thing now happen to you, I suppose you say, "Hey, yeah, you get to go there, kidnap you, then I kill you." Oh my God! 
up, punish you there. Okay, you could make you die there. Now, so they go talk now. You lucky said they no kill you there. We all, all of us, my brothers, where they kill every day, every day, every day. You know, they hear them because you be get you there on top cool FM. They talk now. I be make people they hear you. Are you getting me? Yo, bro, when I think about it, man, we are the cause of the problem. When I think about it, we are the cause of the problem. Let's be real. We are the cause of the problem. We do, we do not pay it forward. We are not a giving society. Going to a church every Sunday to go and drop money for your pastor isn't that or give tithes. That's not to make you a charitable individual. Giving to the beggars in the street that have a, a clandestine like organization for collecting this money and pushing this money to other endeavors that doesn't make you charitable charitable is ah you know your guy that you said went to school with that you said they drink beer with say, nah, nah, nah. you don't say you never get job or you don't say job day office help your guy get job now may your guy to begin the work now oh that your chairman from the other side you get one guy you get one position for the office where they define person you know, and that babe where you know from the other side ah no do like say you want why must knocking be involved Help the person get the job. Just sick of say this person need the help. Do you understand what I'm saying? Real talk. We don't, we don't, we don't think like human beings anymore, bro. We don't think like human beings. We don't. That's the honest thing. We think like animals on different levels, though. Some more beastier, some more beastly than others. Do you understand? But we're all thinking like freaking animals. Everybody out for themselves. Um, if you see person, they they they, they brush beef for that side. I'm gonna put my to every brush you. I want to put my mouth to the go talk saying that you're involved. Ah, no, go join her. Ah, wait to go sign you. Oh, mind your own business. So. Do you understand? Meanwhile, if you are the person where they, they brush, you go to look at like, ah, why they know they help me? Why they know they help me? Crazy. We're going on a break. We'll be right back on the show. The problems are plenty. Crazy. They didn't start with me. Crazy, crazy. In your mind, EK Chuku LD and DJ Z. Don't play that song. Why? It's too happy. It's too happy. It's too happy. Play something oh. sad. We're oh. in a sad time. Okay, right you want to play hustling and grinding? What hustling about that? It's too happy. <laughs> really? It's too happy. If I don't even play the EK Chuku song, play something. Play something has to change. Play J1. I beg. Play, play J1. Shout out to J1. Something has to change. Play two baba. Play something. That, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> We'll be right back in the because show. Because something got to change. Something got to change. Something got to change now. Uh, something got to change right now. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I'm going to get my hands on it. So, uh, guys, uh, something has to change. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my hands on it. The, this one? This one here. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We'll be right back in the show, guys. This is J1. IG. Mm -hmm. Three minutes, we're about to hit 12 o'clock, and we've had a good time with Ikechuku. Uh, I just want to ask you one more question. Are, investiga are you doing any investigation into this, or you just want to let it lie? Did you just say, or oh, I just want to let it die? I'm, I mean, I'm saying, do you want to let this, not generally about, I'm, I'm okay. talking about the incident, actually. Do you mm -hmm. want to, are you letting it lie, or you're actually getting to the root of this? My brother, to be honest, I'm getting, we're getting, we're getting, we're definitely... We're definitely, we're definitely getting to the root of it as much as possible. Um, like I said, and like you know, these guys, they move in a manner that you can't actually identify them. This is the truth. Unless someone sees some video footage and says, oh, that's the guy from so, 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 and so place. He lives here. He does this or he works from this precinct or da, 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 this station or other than that, man. There's no other way to identify these guys. So I'm going to do my best and track down as much as possible. I'm speaking to authorities as we speak right now. I'm speaking to different people in the authorities as we speak right now. And um, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to put my my 100 percent into this as much as possible. I mean, not just for me, but for, you know, the prevention of this happening to any other person. You know, I mean, there, there are real criminals out there. And while you were dealing with me, they were getting away. You understand what I'm saying? That's the honest truth. In fact, you were actually playing the role of the criminal at that point in time at that juncture or that juncture so i i can't say anymore i Crazy. mean i don't want to say anymore uh, at this point you know i've already made myself a target and since i am a target at this point i might as well remain a target and um, shoot me come at me <laughs> i will document it as much as i can and uh, hopefully um, we can reach the right people to make the right change because the ones who are in position right now are not doing anything at all 
Thank you so much, Kichiku, for sharing your story on the show and、uh, and sharing your time as well. Right? We'll be looking out for what's going to happen afterwards, and、uh, you guys put the words out there.、Uh, we are going to do our own investigation because our station was popped in in the conversation. So I, yes, no, I only said what I saw. I only said what I heard. I only said what happened. You know what I'm saying? And and in no way and in no manner or form am I trying to implicate Cool FM, Wazobia FM. You know, in any manner or form, in, in any kind of,、uh, I'm not trying to implicate you guys or saying you guys were complicit in any form, at all. Okay, but the guy did say that ah, he works with W and、uh, Wazobia FM. He did say that. Shall you get whether he was just yarning dust or whether it was actually a mistake by he on his part in divulging that information? Maybe he doesn't even he's not even aware. You know, but we're looking into it. <laughs> So、we'll look into it. Thank you, Kills. Still ninety six point nine, Cool FM. Still in the middle way. Says back to the show. Don't forget, guys. I、uh, will kick up the Cool Night Gym and vibes any minute from now. Right. So, um, more music. Enjoy yourself and uh, like I always say, please be safe. Stay safe. Be safe. Stay safe. Be safe. We'll be, be safe. right back.